So in this video, we are going to talk about the subset sum problem. So we've talked about this briefly that, you know, basically the goal of computer science is really to just solve problems. And to solve problems, we have algorithms and algorithms use data structures to facilitate the process of solving problems. So what a subset problem, subset sum problem is, it's, 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 it's actually a very good example of an algorithm using very simple data structures to solve very, very practical real world problems. Both its problem statement and the solution, they're, they're relatively easy to understand. It might not seem that way at the beginning, but um, after you invest some time, they are really not that complex. Now the solution itself will take a lot, take a while to run, especially when the problem gets large. And we'll figure out why. So the subset sum problem is the first non-trivial algorithm we'll study in this class. What we'll do is that we'll discuss the problem and also its solution. Now and then as an assignment, we'll implement the solution in Python code. All right, so. This is what the subset problem, subset sum problem is. So given S, which is a set of a bunch of positive numbers, and T, which is a target, the subset sum problem, subset sum problem is to find a subset of all these numbers in S whose sum is as big as possible, but it must be less than or equal to t, the target. So this is one variant of the problem. There are other variants of the subset sum problem, such as maybe we want to find a subset whose sum is exactly t. Right? In our case, we want to find the sum that is less than or equal to t. So we might want to find uh, a subset whose sum is exactly t, but that may exist or may not exist. Okay, and there are other variants. Now, uh, why do we care about subset sum problem? Well, it's a uh, very um, it's a very common decision making optimization problem. So, in the readings, there were there were two examples that were given. So one example is, um, uh, let's say we have you know, lots of Amazon packages, and all these packages have different weights. So in that case, the S can be a set of all the weights, and these weights can be in, let's say, you know, pounds. And then we have a truck that can carry some number of pounds. So that, is, that would be the T. So, the problem is we want the truck to carry as many packages as possible, right? To, to, to get our money's worth, but we also don't want to overload the truck. So we'll want to find a subset of these weights so that we'll maximize what the truck can carry. And then another example given is that, let's say for a radio host, and the radio host has a number of songs, and a number of commercials, so as the S would represent a set of the duration of these songs and commercials in units of seconds. And then the radio show probably runs, you know, some number of seconds, right? Let's say an hour. So that would be our target, T. So what the, the job of the radio host is to play a combination of these songs and commercials such that the, the, the sum of their duration is as close to t, the length of the show, as possible. So those are two applications of the subset sum problem. There, there are many other, other um, examples or applications. So it's a very, very practical problem. So let's look at exactly uh, what it means. Let's look at, let's start with some uh, very simple S 
and t. So in the first one, s is just two numbers, 10 and 2. And our target is 20. Well, the, the subset whose sum is the largest and still less than t is obviously um, all the numbers in this subset, right? 10 and 2. 10 and 2 adds up to 12. 12 is still less than 20. All right, what if our target is 9? Well, we obviously cannot include 10, so the subset can only include 2. And the subset with 2, the sum is 2, and that is less than 9, and we really cannot do better than that. Now finally, what if the target is 1? Well, when the target is 1, we cannot include 2, and we cannot include 10. So really, the subset that would satisfy the requirement is just the empty subset. OK? Uh, now it's your turn. So what if we add another element and add another number to S, the set? Well, we keep the same targets. What are the subsets? that would satisfy the requirement. So pause the video, try to figure this out. All right, so here are the answers. So for the target 20, we really can include all the items because that adds up to 20 and that's exactly the target. That's the best we can do. Now for the target nine, now we obviously cannot have 10, we can just have two, but two is not uh, that close to the target of nine, right? So we can do better. And so if our subset has eight, that's pretty close to nine, although not exactly nine. All right? So if our target is one, again, we cannot include any of the items. And the empty subset is the best we can do. That is under. Uh, one. Okay, so let's do something a little more complicated. Given this large or relatively large S that has these many numbers and our target is 50, try to find a subset of these numbers that is as close to 50 as possible. And as a matter of fact, there, the solution is that um, we can find a subset that is exactly 50. So give this a try. And if it takes a while, it's OK, because it's not that easy. All right, and here is the solution. The solution is 25, 6, and 19. And they add up to exactly 50. 